Hello and welcome to our channel. Now in this video we'll tell you how the cast of 1975's Welcome Back Carter has changed. I'll show you what they looked like back then in 1975 and now in 2022 how they changed compared to when they were on the sitcom. Alright, let's go. Ron Padillo in the sitcom he played Arnold Horshack, known for his unconventional observations and wheezing hyena-like laughter. In 1975, he was 26 years old and sadly on August 14, 2012, at the age of 63, he suffered a heart attack. Little one, I just don't feel right about this whole thing. I mean, turn in somebody else's time paper, that's not right. I'm sorry, but Come it's... Come on, Otto Horshack, it's time you face the facts of life. There's no place for the peddler to stay that night, so he comes to Mike Arud's house. Now, Mike Arud has been uh, a hermit. He's lost his entire family. Gabe Kaplan in the sitcom he played Gabe Carter, sloppy but kind teacher who returns to his alma mater to teach a group of remedial students known as the Sweat Hawks. In 1975, he was 30 years old and now he's 77 years old. I've been at grade ones while we eat. Okay. He's writing it on Franklin Roosevelt. Franklin Delano Roosevelt by Juan Delano. Are you Gabe Kaplan? They don't even say, were you Mr. Carter? They say, are you welcome back, Carter? <laughs> Marsha Strassman in the sitcom she played Julie Carter, Gabe's wife and best friend. She was 27 years old in 1975, and sadly Strassman passed away from terminal breast cancer on October 24, 2014. She was 66 years old. Pitnik, did you bring the ants? <laughs> I tell you what, I won't bring any ants if you won't bring any uncles. My bones. Today, I see my doctor for regular checkups, take medications for my cancer, and to maintain my bone health, and I'm just living my life. John Travolta in the sitcom he played Vini Barbarino, a cocky Italian-American, the official unofficial leader and resident of the Sweat Hawks Heart. In 1975, he was 21 years old, and now he's 68 years old. On the Staten Island ferry, you see them all the time. The, the dirt, they talk dirty, they spit on themselves. <laughs> Disgusting, I hate them. So, uh, we have to deal with him, and I have a history with Morgan in this film. And uh, Ella is, is the, the prime suspect of the... So I'm checking her out in that. Robert Higgies in the sitcom he played Juan Epstein, a very proud Puerto Rican Jew. In 1975, he was 24 years old. And it was with great sadness that on January 26, 2012, Higgies died of an apparent heart attack at the John F. Kennedy Medical Center in Edison, New Jersey at the age of 60. I work here. <laughs> uh, well, I bet you'd like to be up in your classroom right now preparing for your classes, huh? I mean, a teacher like you must prepare 15, 20 minutes just for one class. And then, if you did a joke that went over big, you know, there was always jealousy. He'd bite you, then spit on you. So you never know. You never... <laughs> Stephen Shortridge in the sitcom he played Boo Labar, a handsome, friendly, blonde, silver-tongued southerner who moved from New Orleans after being kicked out of several other schools. In 1978, he was 27 years old, and now he's 71 years old. Been here very long, and I still don't know my way around very well. As a result, I made a wrong turn in gym class this morning and found myself in the girls' locker room. <laughs> they have a doubt at all that, that they need to kill that. They need to stop that. They think that's sin. And it's not. I'm not doubting God. But I really doubt my understanding of it. Lawrence Hilton Jacobs in the sitcom he played Freddy Boom Boom Washington, a stylish black student known as Sweat Hawk because of his basketball skills. In 1975, he was 25 years old and now he's 69 years old. Taking him so long, huh? Hey, look, you sure your belly's gonna show up? Sure, sure, I'm sure. Yeah, well, I can't stand out in this cold much longer, you know? My afro's liable to freeze and snap off. <laughs> then welcome at Carter, but they were all at the same time. In those days, they would leave a movie in the theater for like two, three years. Yeah. So, you know, it just looked like you had it going on all the time. So it, was a little, it was a little nuts, but it was cool. Charles Fisher in the sitcom he played Carvelli, a student of Sweat Hawks. In 1976, he was 26 years old, and now he's 72 years old. Epstein, the man who put the sweat into Sweat Hog. So <laughs> and bad colds, and uh, I tried to get people to come over and um, help me get out of my snowsuit. <laughs> I had to go to the bathroom. 
That's cute. Verne Watson in the sitcom she played Verne Jean Williams, Freddie's girlfriend. In 1975, she was 26 years old and now she's 73 years old. It's not all your fault. You see, sometimes women have to do dumb things, especially when men start acting like idiots. <laughs> Actually speak to somebody. And, and I, ooh child, don't get me started about the phone, that attention, you know. Melanie Haller in the sitcom she played Angie Gorbowski, the only official female sweat hog, but disappeared at the end of the season. In 1978, she was 19 years old and now she's 63 years old. Hey Angie, what's happening Angie? Angie? Have you started to turn paper yet? Yeah, I already finished mine. Look at right here. Oh, I was thinking about doing mine on Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> John Sylvester White in the sitcom he played Mr. Michael Woodman the difficult vice principal of Buchanan High School. In 1975, he was 56 years old, and it was with great sadness that he passed away on September 11, 1988 from pancreatic cancer in Waikiki, Hawaii at the age of 68. She? she talks a lot better when she takes the rose out of her mouth. <laughs> Whenever she speaks, I can almost hear the sound of custard. Thanks for watching the whole video. If you like this video, please share it, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to support us in producing the next video.